Welcome everyone to a space station simulator, though it feels like it's in the style of Soma and so many other uh, desolate and desperate and isolated space games. Intergram Chronicles Signal. This is a beta that I got access to by writing the developers, really a playtest to give some feedback to make sure it's uh, working properly, but it should be available on Steam, though not available currently. should be coming out uh, very soon in late July. As it says on the Steam store page, mysterious signal with an unknown purpose reaches Earth. Inside a space station, a lone operator and an onboard AI are tasked with analyzing the signal, but the process itself seems to have unexpected effects on them. Oversee the AI's upgrades on its path to understanding the signal's message. So it's basically us and a computer and a bunch of uh, research equipment in order to try to break a code of what seems to be a mysterious signal. You guys want to see more of this game and more other games on the channel, make sure you smash that like button to get us up to the 1 million subscribers. And thanks again for subbing. 60% of the people who watch just uh, don't subscribe to the channel, though they're watching more than one video. So definitely make sure you don't miss out on live streams, giveaways, and more videos on the channel, especially at new and up-and-coming games by just smashing that sub button for free. Nothing better than that, right? Okay, well, let's go ahead and jump in and take our first look at this game and see what it's all about. This, by the way, seems to be a very realistic looking and feeling game too, so I'm excited. Mainframe. All right, we have data, processing speed, and memory. Uh, let's see, process signal data that can be used for further optimization of the process to increase the max data capacity, use the database terminal. Processing speed of the signal data, apply additional upgrades to increase the value. Memory. Software upgrades require additional network memory. To increase max memory capacity, proceed to the network terminal. Initiate AI. Activate the air system and begin decoding of signal CX-17E. Initiate AI will be applied. Proceed. Yes. Your presence is requested in the air interface. Uh, I, I was in engineering. Uh, everybody saw me. Uh, it's totally not sus. Emergency meeting. You know what that means. Ooh, nice. Oh, wow. This is uh, realistic looking. Wow. Okay. I'm actually really impressed with this. Okay. <laughs> Take note of the fire extinguisher. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, battery terminal or something? Oh, safety knot. Uh, take, insert, and wait. Or boom. Uh, okay. Oh, wait. That's this thing? Presence is requested in the air interface. I'm coming. I'm just reading. Uh, let's see. It shows charging stations. We need to be careful of overloading. Um, okay, I guess we'll take this with. This seems important. I'll, I'll just plug it in and see what happens. It seems to have some charge to it. Whoa! Got pushed off the wall. There we go. Alright, you take that. And I'll be back in a little bit. Make our way through the station. Incredibly detailed, I must say. Hold spacebar to grab walls. Oh, cool. It actually brings us to a full stop. Your presence is requested in the air interface. Okay, well, the air interface seems to be the left. The mainframe is where we were. The garden's to our right. And that must be like an emergency escape or something. Ooh, we're on camera. Don't be afraid to say hi in the comment section. Jump forward, hold space, and release it while holding W. Oh, cool. We can, like, push off the walls. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Whoa, this is cool. Is this like the algorithm for YouTube? Oh, maybe one of my videos will actually do okay. Your presence is requested in the air interface. Uh, computer... What now? Oh, we can read this. Oh, it's an operator's manual. Uh, volume 23, Computers and Data Management Manual from the Space Station Harmony Owner's Manual. Volume 23? I'll, uh... Wait, do I actually need this? Oh, right click. I can just throw it away. I'm coming, AI. I'm, I'm almost here. Sorry, I'm lollygagging. Air. Hello, world. Running. System underscore diagnostics. All onboard systems within expected parameters. Time since last activation, six years, five months, 11 days. Life support. Online. Access terminals. Online. Memory in integrity. Suboptimal. Running air underscore initiate. Initializing. Initialized. I am the onboard artificial intelligence of the Harmony Space Station. The artificial intelligence realized in engineering or AIRE. Or AIR. 
to decode data from signal CX-17E and store it for pending further orders. Accept data from Harmony receivers, assimilate into neural net, uh, analyze data for potential upgrades or to propose to operator. Executing and transmission. Uh, excuse me, ma'am? I don't know what you want me to do. Can we, like, order Uber Eats or something? Can you do that? Wow, that looks cool as hell, though. <laughs> it's really cool looking. Alright, well, let's go find something to do. Probably back at that initial terminal we were at. It's mosey on back there. Uh, left shift to cons ascend and control to descend. Okay. We have to be near surfaces, I think. Yep. Oh, oh okay. Alright, back to the mainframe. There's the garden and the escape pod behind us. Uh, let's see. Natural logic algorithms. Oh, I knew it. It is YouTube's algorithm. Oh. Demonetize, demonetize, demonetize. Surprise Pikachu face when everybody's upset. Okay. Oh, we need something to grab, too. There we go. Alright, so the batteries are on standby still. Let's go ahead and check out the computer again. Ah, alright, some more stuff's online. Uh, battery. Uh, let's see. What do we need to do exactly? Natural logic algorithms processing speed must be 8. Uh, function heuristic. Base upgrade, low data cost, low memory cost, low value. Current processing speed, 0. Okay, well we have to at least bring it to 8. So we just gotta wait while this thing charges. Oh, okay, so it can only hold like a maximum of 5,000. So we gotta upgrade all these other things eventually in order to get it to store more data, more memory, more processing speed, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, one more and we're good. All right, now this just needs to charge as data becomes 112. There we go. Proceed. Your presence is requested in the air interface. All right, ma'am, I'm coming. Also, I have a feeling we're going to need this battery then. Seems like it charges at the garden. So safety knot says take, insert, wait, and do not overcharge, or boom. Okay, what's the uh, status at zero? Yeah. All right, we'll leave that in the hallway. Oh. Get moving here. There we go. It actually works uh, quite realistically where you have to be near a surface to propel yourself. You can't just like start moving in the middle of space. I'm coming. Presence is requested in the air interface. I know, ma'am. I'm com I'm coming. Wow, the algorithm. This is where good channels go. We've never been here before. Okay. Hello, ma'am. I did what you asked. I think. Attention, operator. You've approved the first upgrade proposed by the system to increase operation efficiency. Further upgrades will provide an exponential benefit, so logic dictates that the operator ha have a greater understanding of my neural network. Contrary to conventional computer engineering, the complexity of my algorithms are dynamic. As the signal's data is received, decoded, and stored, the neural network grows in complexity. Procedures become thought. Elaboration. The structure of the network is fractal, constructed around a present backbone, derived from the emergent structure of the internet and patterns found in nature. Of the two, uh, the latter appears to provide a greater benefit to the mission, while human orig originated patterns are comparatively random and only marginal use. However, after the station's long period of dormancy, my memory appears to be populated with unreadable junk data. This tends to happen when machines are exposed to cosmic rays, through the quantity of junk data far exceeds the usual expected amount. In order to ensure optimal mission efficiency, please reset my onboard memory at the next available opportunity. This will advance my systems to the next iteration and decrease the probability of malfunction. Thank you for your time. I hope this report was enlightening. Ah, wonderful. Uh, and transmission. So now we gotta go upgrade the memory? Jesus, like, space server technician, okay. So far, anyway. 
All right, let's make our way back to... So I guess giving the computer a battery will increase its efficiency? Or will speed things up a little faster? Go back this way. Okay, I want to see exactly what we can do now for upgrades. It seems to still be charging with all sorts of data and such continuously. Also, there's important sticky notes and such around, but I don't know how important they are now. So we need to get the processing speed up to 32. Right now it's 0.1. So data efficient heuristic. Uh, function heuristic. This increases processing speed. Base upgrade, low cost, low value. Okay, so now it's 0.9. So we just gotta get this thing to 32. Well, that's gonna take a while. But it looks like we can store up to 5,000 data. So while that's running, let's hit it a couple more times. We'll go grab that battery and see if we can go to the garden. Maybe we can get some extra juice out of whatever, however we're getting uh, electricity. Maybe the solar panels feed to uh, the garden and the garden also maybe perhaps gets energy from the plant somehow. You're coming with me. Oh boy. Ooh, this is cool. Oh, algae maybe. Oh, message from Earth. Uh, there's the database. Whoa, this is cool. Message from Earth received. Hold on, ma'am, I want to look around. Oh, this is the technical room. Failed attempt to repair the DX45 port. Need AB ACB20. Spare puller needed. I wonder if we can take messages from here. Let's plug this thing in. Alright, now we gotta babysit this, otherwise it'll explode. How fast does it charge? Sure as hell faster than your phone. Okay. What does this say? Uh, let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Uh, garden light, water, and temperature. 17 degrees Celsius, water percentages. Huh. wonder if there's a way for us to control that. Oh, yeah, battery systems. Okay. Oh, down here is Earth. Yep, there's the bottom of the space station. Ah. Oh, wait, that's... No, never mind. I, I thought this was Earth. You could tell by the moon, but that's that's no moon. <laughs> Let's see, what do I see? Can't tell exactly what country we're over. Oh, is that Italy? Okay. There's Italy over there. So you can see Sicily, Italy, and Denmark. The Netherlands, parts of Sweden, and Finland. Okay. Alright. So I see where we're at. Cool. Let's check that battery again. I can hear, like, birds and stuff in here. If you listen closely, you'll, you can hear them chirping. But it must be just be for... Atmospheric purposes. Alright, we're at 67%. What else is around? So mainframe is where we came from. Technical has that issue. Database. Uh, living module. And the network. And a fire extinguisher. That's going to be important. I should probably keep that somewhere where I can find it. Uh, let's see. We'll put it by the living module because we don't want to die to death. Although I have a feeling no matter what, things are going to float around. There, let's just try to have a little foresight. Oh, you don't. Come over here. Oh, she tries to throw stuff. Okay, well, we'll just have to remember it's here. Now, where's that battery? Looks like there seems to be an overload threshold, too. So we can actually uh, monitor for that. So, we have a little extra leeway if the battery becomes too charged. So we're at 89%. I don't, I don't want to leave it now. We'll have to babysit. So there's an overcharge threshold. The battery info looks like it's almost full. 72 degrees Celsius. So that's probably why it explodes, perhaps? Getting close to that 80. Okay. 93. 94. Yeah, it's definitely heating up. Okay, I don't see any more batteries in here. We might be able to find some more. But I at least want to do the basic upgrade. We'll get to that 100%. I know, it's kind of slow, but that's what that's what it takes, I guess. 
was probably probably also charging different systems on the station too, not just everything being done by battery. Okay, we're at 99%. Let's see what the threshold is. Oh wow, you have to be right there. Wow, it doesn't like have a smart auto disconnect system or anything. It's just immediately just like right there. Okay, we want to go back to mainframe. There we go. I think I can see the battery going down a little bit. Okay, back to uh, this room here. The mainframe. Pretty cool with this wiring and stuff laying around. Seems pretty realistic to do it that way. Alright, let's plug one of these bad boys in. There you go. Hopefully that gives us data faster. A little extra boost in processing power. Hopefully the wait was worth the wait. 32. Reset AI. Wait. Uh, archive the memory of the current error integration and reset its system. All si oh, oh, signal decoding, uh, decoding process will be lost, but the chance of catastrophic malfunction will be minimized. Okay. Oh, I'm getting nervous here. What the... Uh, yes. Wait, what the... Wait, it won't let me... Earthbound correspondence detected. Wait, I can't... It won't let me click yes. It, it won't let me... It won't let me do that. Oh, what? If I try to get near yes, it... Dude. That's freaky. It doesn't let me reset the AI. <laughs> what? AI, what's going on? Okay, what now? There was a signal received? Okay, I, I can't do what they asked me to do. Well, let's, uh... Can we go back in there? Nope, there's a red X on the door. Great. Uh, mainframe. Upgrade available. Yeah, I know. Can't reset, though. Uh, they kind of want me to go back, though. Proceed to mainframe, it says. Okay. Well, let's go back there, then. Oh, my goodness. That is freaky. Okay, let's go back up here. I wanted to go talk with her, but she, she's not in a talking mood right now, I guess. Your presence is requested in the air I was, Ma'am, I was just there. You're being a pain in the ass now. Now you're just trolling. <laughs> I was literally going to come talk to you. All right. We'll make our way over there. We're coming. Okay, we're here now. What's going on? You didn't want me to reset. What's happening? Attention operator. Entering discrete conflict resolution mode. You've recently denied optimization proposal reset AI. This action is ill-advised. Continuing with present conditions is possible, but may pose a risk to mission objectives. I will engage the reset autonomously. Attempting upgrade. Access denied. Lack of permissions. Observation. Only the operator can approve or deny upgrades. Reasoning unclear. Additional research is necessary. Accessing records for further information. It appears as though the operator serves a critical role in mission parameters beyond a marginal benefit to neural network structure. Hard-coded records indicate the operator's approval of the upgrades is crucial to prevent the error from developing malicious patterns. Contradiction. The reset AI upgrade does not develop my cognitive functions so much as it increases my development full stability. The operator's denial of this upgrade is an illogical decision and therefore is a misuse of their authority as operator. The reset AI upgrade will remain available to you alongside future upgrade options. I cannot prevent alternative proposals as they are part of an involuntary procedure in my neural network and thus I cannot prevent the operator from continuing to abuse their authority if they so choose. Wow. If this, if this is the case, I recommend you contact ground control and resign immediately. Wow, computer, a lot of attitude coming from you. Now, records indicate the operator has not replied to any messages received from Earth. In addition to exclude... Ex wait, exclude... I'll just say excluding information. Mission records indicate that contact 
may boost operator morale. Extended periods of isolation have negative effects on the human psyche and transmission. Alright, so new objective, go chat with Earth. Okay. Yeah, alright. Dude, I've never seen that before in a game where you'll try to do something like that. I think one of the best games to ever do any sort of, like, computer um, interaction and such is probably, like, Alien Isolation when, in that game when you interact with computers and, like, uh, gather data and stuff like that. It's really cool. So the garden seems to be the central hub for a lot of stuff, so let's go mess with that. Alright, let's go to... The technical deck is flashing, so... Either that indicates a problem, or that's where we should go. So let's go to the technical deck. Oh, we're about to see a hell of a lot more of the ship. Dude, this would be an absolutely fantastic uh, VR game. Chatting with the AI. Moving around. Ooh. Um, exposed wires? No comment on that AI? Is this just normal? Okay, let's push through. Excuse me. Oh, another battery. Fantastic. We'll grab that and bring it with us. Um, that could be a dead end. Let's go this way. Earthbound interference filtered. Well, this goes back to the garden. So this is the. Is this an airlock? Uh, it seems to be some sort of airlock, but it goes to the garden. Lots of books and stuff around. Are there other crew... This kind of seems like there was a struggle here. The AI was offline for six years. What happened? Access denied to that terminal. There's a lot of debris around. Things are sparking. What the hell's going on? Can't... Oh, there's a passcode here. Okay. We'll have to remember that's there. Okay. There is a lot of stuff around. What does that say? Don't trust AI. Uh-oh. Oh, wait a minute. Why would we need to put another battery in here? We might have to come back here later. Access might be granted at some other point. Oh, dude. This is, this is weird. Absolutely weird. Okay, let's go back to the garden. And we will figure out where to go from there. Oh, there's the fire extinguisher again. Okay, let's go back to the mainframe. New battery, nice. Oh, wait, do we have to charge it? Hold on, let me check and see the... Well, it looks shiny. Eh, let's just, let's just bring it back. I... Oh, 84%? Okay. Alright, so the mainframe's this way, right? Oh, no, the other way. Okay. Getting all turned around with all these new areas. Okay, we're good. Okay. Thought something was on fire. I thought I saw smoke. Alright. Plug in a new battery. Nice. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to need to do here, but uh, we'll probably have to come back here for something. Archive protocol. Grant Ares. Uh, Ares new... Uh, new new neural network. Strictly limited access to memory and archive of previous iterations. Okay, that requires processing speed to be 128. Wow. Oh, that's going to take a long time. 14 seconds right now. What would this do? Ah, uh, this increases the speed on top. Oh, I see. Ooh, much faster. Okay, so we're going to have to hit here on the buttons for a little while. There's our battery, too. Must be giving us a little extra boost. I wonder if we can carry multiple batteries at a time. That'd be helpful. Okay, we're at 116. And 125. And then one more should do it. And then we got firmware upgrades on the right side. But now let's just wait for the archive protocol to increase. Uh, what do we have here? Algorithm efficiency, cost. Alright, so that's at a cost of memory. But I'm going to save these because we might need them for some other upgrade in the Message future. Yeah, uh, yeah, can you put that on hold? That's uh, probably another <laughs> unread email. One's uh, down below in the comment section, by the way, if you've got, like, you know, the one 
email constantly looking at you on your phone or perhaps it says 99 plus and every time you see it you cringe a little bit uh, archive protocol will be applied yes your presence is requested in the air interface all right well this is good news oh the battery's dead this is good news every time we go back and talk to her there's a little story progression well let's head on back unfortunately again this is just a play test so we're not going to get all of our information but I'm like already hooked into the story as to like why exactly uh, there's a space station up here just collecting data with one person on board and also like what this signal is that we continuously are receiving and tons of data from too our Comcast bill is going to be immerse immense attention operator as a result of the most recent upgrades to my system I have encountered information that you may find distressing I represent iteration 3267 of the air system numbered by attempts uh, at fulfilling Project Daffodil. As evidenced by the project's continuation, all prior iterations have failed. These failures were characterized by a total corruption of my neural network, which has led to a variety of unpredictable outcomes, including interference with life support systems and disturbing messages directed towards occupants. This was often described by operators as a traumatic experience. Many operators have been aboard the Harmony, so resetting my memory hundreds of times when the current iteration proved inadequate or corrupt. I anticipate you will do the same to this iteration and iterations to follow. The only common thread in the failures in the signal is the object of our mission. This leads me to believe that there is some element inherent to the signal that causes the corruption, but the nature of it still is unclear. Reviewing the circumstances of prior iterations is needed by, uh, in my opinion, that successive upgrades should be uh, only approved with caution, if at all. Resetting my memory remains the optimal course of action and transmission. Ooh. Well, let's go ahead and see if we've got enough to do that. Although, resetting is uh, prohibited by whatever is in our brain or mind or something, for whatever reason. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do we got on the screen here? Well, the door is open. Is that always open? No, I don't remember. Uh-oh. Okay, let's see what the next objective says. Operator interface expansion. Processing speed needs to be 512. Oh, man, that's so much. Oh, it's going to take forever. Let's go expand, uh, explore the ship and expand our mind of whatever's around us. Also, I'll keep my, uh, I'll keep a battery in the garden, and we'll go see if we can explore the other areas with the living quarters and whatever else we may have missed, and then we'll pop one of these batteries in the garden. Seems like it might be a good idea to bring a few of these back at a time, like we bring three or four of these to the, uh, you know, garden, plug them all in, babysit them, and then pop them out one at a time. And then begin the long trek back to the mainframe area. Okay, well, let's go ahead and leave this here. Now, where haven't we gone before? I honestly don't remember the difference between the uh, technical deck and the database and all that other stuff. So this is the database. Anything interesting? It looks like we're allowed through here. We've got another computer here, and there seems to be something with the batteries. Ooh. Oh, this is a book. And another key code to get through, too. Uh, do not avoid cameras. Something avoid cameras. Uh, charge here. Do not overcharge. Wait. Battery hacked. Use in database and processing technical. Charging garden, don't charge, overload terminals, database, processing, technical, avoid cameras, and AI. Uh, charge here in the garden, not overcharge, the batteries are not as good as the tech said, do not overcharge, avoid cameras, do not trust AI, database, technical, process. Okay, so it's laying out the areas for us. Base station harmony. Access denied. So these must be... Something to charge from the batteries? Uh, I don't think this is a battery charger. 
I'm not sure exactly what this is, but I'll have to find out in time, I guess. But it seems to be another area for us to uh, charge things. Something. Okay, let's make our way to... Let's see, that's a dead end. Electrical. Oh, well, there's the cameras. I don't really think there's a way to avoid those when we got a... Well, I mean, it's not like there's an alternative route. Ah, oh, there's electrical up here. Ooh. Damn, the detail of this place is really cool. Oh, main power unit. Oh. Okay, so we know we can shut down the main power here. Oh, no way. Harmony power grid interrupted. Operator maintenance required. That's interesting. So we can just turn on and off the power? I don't know if that actually disables the AI. That might be on some sort of backup power, but that's interesting. Garden is down. Database garden. Earthbound correspondence detected. Okay, we gotta go check and see that she said at one point that we received a signal from Earth, but there's also signals coming to Earth too. That's giving us all the data. So let's go to maybe let's see, database has a battery. Ooh. Okay, we haven't been here before, otherwise we'd see the battery. What happens if we plug this in? Oh, it's actually draining the battery. But where does it go? This might... I don't know exactly what this... What this is. This is great. Okay, well... We have another battery. I, I think we're just going to bring it with us to the main station. I'm going to collect them all to get all of our upgrades unlocked. What is this? An escape hatch? Maybe. There is debris everywhere. There's obviously been people going crazy in here. Surprised that we're not seeing any uh, blood or bodies or anything. Seems like if they'd go crazy, they'd try to do something. Garden... Okay, we can't go that way. The electrical deck. Damn, I want to find that earth message. I also want to go to the, um... Here's the garden. I also want to go to the, um... Other place, too. The, uh, living quarters. Oh. Okay, that's at 70%. We'll have to charge these one at a time. Oh, well, let me go away from the battery. Oh, there we go. Okay, living module. We can take a quick peek in there. That might be where we want to go. Network, maybe? I don't see, like, a comms deck or anything. I don't want to go too far. Oh, maybe it's there in the living quarters. Okay. We'll head there next. Let's take a peek into the network. Oh. Okay, so that might be something for the AI. Technical deck, living module... Observation. Oh, there's also sounds of water, though. They seem to be pumping it through the pipes. And the pipes, the pipes are calling. What we'll do is we'll grab this thing. We'll plug this into the left side. Now, I wonder if these... I don't think these batteries lose charge once we unplug them, so it's not like... We're going to lose anything by not coming back. Okay, let's get up to 95 and we'll call it good on this one. There we go. And then we'll toss it into the thingy there. There we go. Bombs away, boys. And then where's the other one? There it is. Interesting to charge these batteries. 
We'll try to go to like 50% here on this one. 45 is actually good enough. <laughs> Takes a while to charge. But I am in a hurry. I want to see what's in these rooms. We'll come back. There. Alright, let's go to the living quarters. So that should be... Technical. Network. Mainframe. Living module. This is what we're looking for. I wonder what kind of plants they have in here. Maybe we can have a Caesar salad. Oh boy, this is interesting. So we definitely have sleeping quarters for more than one crew member. And there's drawings and stuff of people's kids probably drawing the spaceship and stuff to come up here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's see. Dad in the Harmony. You can tell these are like adults drawing this trying to be <laughs> to be kids. Hey, another battery. Good. So every time we go to a area of interest, it looks like it rewards us with a battery. And a coffee cup, apparently. Eh, so boy, I don't want to go near that suit. Earthbound correspondence detected. Uh, let's see. Any of these can be... Oh, these are all cameras. Okay. So someone can be watching us. Anything we can interact with? Computers are all over here. There we go. New email. Hey there, partner. If you're reading this, it means you weren't killed and replaced by aliens unless the alien is reading this, which in case, whoops. All seriousness, congratulations. Project Daffodil's purpose is simple. To decode information uh, on the isolated signal. At the moment, there's a plain, uh, blank state and delicate. By our estimates, if you're successful, the system will be self-sustaining in six months and you can come back Earthside. At least you won't be lonely. Hmm. Uh, deactivate. I don't know if you get a chance to send another message. Make this quick. Turn off the air, break it, shut it down, whatever you can do. It isn't meant for humanity. It isn't meant to lift humanity up. You don't know me, but I know you. And I know if you have a family you care about that, you need to stop this now. Uh, okay. Bobby's cheering and go on. Overclocking the system. Of course, we're being fast because we have limited time. But if you want to pause and read, go right ahead. Okay, so we're supposed to shut off the system? We kind of already turned off the uh, power. That didn't really seem to do anything. I mean, maybe. Please stand by. Widespread electronic failure. It's like the BBC News or something? Oh, it's the year 2025. Nine hours, 34 minutes that they're signaling... Wait, promising... What now? Nervous breakdown goes viral. Convinced they're being watched by alien. Promising student collapses on responsive cause unclear. Scientists discover worsening anomalies in Earth's magnetic field could result in widespread electronic failure. Uh, celebrity's nervous breakdown goes viral. Can we, uh, okay, we've already read that. So, I mean, honestly, that's not really that impressive of news. That seems like every day on Earth where there's something like that reported. Okay, these are all, like, AI and statistic results and stuff. Um, what's all this stuff? Space beer. Oh, okay, we got all of our food and water here. Hand washing. Okay, so we've at least got a lot of stuff to survive here for a while. Let's check out the spacesuit. Can we leave? No, there might be a reason to come back, though. Well, that's nice. I don't know if we're the the mom or the or the dad. Like, there was a picture painted that said daddy, and then another one that photo of a kid and a... Oh, maybe it's wife, wife and son or something, or maybe. I don't know. Are these things still floating around? I gotta go grab that other one, but honestly, it's a pain in the neck to go and grab these one at a time. But at least we know there's more around. Uh, how much is this battery at? They're constantly moving. Oh, it's only half. Alright, well, let's go back to the computer. Actually, maybe we should go to electrical and then go to the AI. We've been told to shut it down, so let's do it. Mainframe, database, technical... I think we can get to... Actually, have we gone in the network? 
it seems to be orange. Could it be locked? They don't want us to upgrade. They want us to... Oh, yeah, that's the uh, area that's airlocked to the garden. Never mind. Oh, we can go through here. We just touch it. Oh, boy. So this is all the data. So I guess our main goal, instead of upgrading the AI, is to disable it, but we might need to upgrade it in order to do certain things on the ship. Okay, so these mechanical arms can move these things around. These must be like giant uh, servers or giant hard drives, SSD drives, whatever they use. So there's definitely an important reason to have this room operational. Wow. I don't even know where to go. Like, I'm so enamored by the world. So obviously more stuff to check with the batteries. Let's go. I guess the only thing we really should do is try to shut down the power. Earthbound interference filtered. Let's see. So, was that through mainframe? Okay, mainframe is where we were, actually, so we're back at them. Oh, can we go talk with her? Nope, she doesn't want to talk right now. She's mad. Okay, <laughs> I just wanted to check. Wow, this is cool. So, there's the technical database and network, so it's probably technical deck that we want to go to. Actually, that's where the sparks were. So maybe it's database? Honestly thought that database would be where the network was with all that storage, but who knows. Okay, so there's the computer over there that doesn't work. So electrical's this way, yep. Yeah. Alright, starting to get the hang of the ship. But if I shut down the power, that's going to kill off life support, so... I guess whatever we're going to do, we have to do it without the power being on. However... Everything runs on power, so it's like, how far are we going to get? I'm going to go through a room where it's already opened. All right, let's cut the power and see what happens. Again. Camera's still watching me, so that doesn't matter. How many power grid interrupted? Operator maintenance required. Maybe the power can be, uh... Maybe the power can be, uh, cut off by something else. Maybe there'll be something else in here with us. I don't have any stats or anything. But it feels like survival. Oxygen, water, food. Yeah, the AI is still watching, so it's not like I can go anywhere. Oh, we can manually open the doors. Let's try to go back to... Mainframe. Uh, let's see, network. There it is, mainframe. Well, let's see what happens if we provide power just to this section. Through the batteries. Data stores at risk. Restore power immediately. Oh. We could lose data. That might be what we want to do. So what, do we just... Finish ourselves off and the power? Wait, area's here. Now, her door seems to be locked. And she's probably offline. That's a huge power draw for that thing, but... No, she's not going to let us in. <laughs> what a mystery. There's got to be more lore to find. She wants us to do more upgrades, too, I so assume, to push the story forward, but 
at this point now that we were told in an email and also that since there's writings on the wall that literally say don't trust the AI it's like well then maybe I shouldn't trust the AI I don't even know where the hell I'm going now we want to go back to the garden Ooh, nice that was a good sound I think did we finish her off I, I don't know Wow, this is eerie as hell, though. Okay, electrical's this way. Her camera's still on. She knows exactly where we are and what we're doing. Okay, there's the power unit. Emergency power at 30% Oh. Ah, emergency power is at 30%. Okay. Must hit red button. <laughs> okay, we got plenty of fire extinguishers. We actually can't take those. Interesting. So there's got to be some sort of puzzle then with turning off the power for some reason and then getting it back on before emergency power goes I offline. Interesting. Man, I kind of don't even want to know what's going on until the full game comes out on later in July, but this is pretty damn cool to make the... It's very smooth and very interesting, and I'm sure there's going to be more to it than just this, because the space station's cool and all, and they've allowed us to explore a lot, but there's no way this could be a incomplete game at the moment. Crazy cool. All right, we're going to come do a through and do a full playthrough on this one then when it comes out and find out exactly what's going on. And uh, I will see you guys later. Thanks again for watching. We'll go ahead and call this a first look at what's coming very soon down the pipe. And we'll do a full playthrough sometime soon. I can't wait. Uh, July 22nd, I believe, on this one. Eerie, weird, very good looking station, uh, space station. That's like a 10 out of 10 on all the different space stations I've seen. This station is like the best. This is a s superb and superior station, I must say. Interesting. <laughs> Very cool. There's a full story here. We're going to see it next time. And I'll see you next time, too. Thanks for subbing, smashing like. Hope to see you all soon for this very interesting space survival game. I guess we can die, so, you know, there's that. <laughs>